When it comes to balance training, your creativity is really the only limitation that you have for different variations. I have given you some variations here, but let me first explain what are the, the major variables that you get to play with. So we understand balance and what um, feedback our brain's getting all the time for balance, then it helps you play with those variables. So the three main systems in our body that we use to get feedback from our environment to keep us balanced and, and our eyes horizontal with our environment are our visual system, the other system is our inner ear or our vestibular system, and the third system is our little joint and muscle receptors, also known as our proprioceptors or somatosensory receptors. So that means if you're doing an exercise and you, so say you've mastered the single leg stance, you're on your hardwood floor at home and you're going, oh, I'm doing really well with this one. You can challenge the little joint and muscle receptors by affecting your visual stimulus, meaning that if you're standing on one leg and you're looking very, you know, um, intently at one spot, your brain's getting a lot of feedback from your eyes to stay level. So instead, you could be standing on one foot and then just start turning your head slightly to the right, slightly to the left, up or down, and all of a sudden that exercise has changed dramatically. On the other hand, you could um, stay fixated in your gaze and make the surface that you're standing on much softer. So instead of doing it on your hardwood floor, you can decide to go do it on the shy carpet. You could fold up a yoga mat in three, four folds and make that surface much softer. Do it out on the grass. If you're lucky enough to be near a beach, do it on sand. So by changing the surface that you're standing on, your brain has to receive the feedback from your joints and muscles that are responding to that changed surface. And so, all of a sudden, a single leg stance has numerous variations to it. There's not a good or bad. I guess the only bad would be if you fell over. So you want to make sure that your the good part, the good of balance exercise is that you're constantly challenging yourself. You're actually feeling like, ooh, I feel like I could almost fall over. Because if you don't have that sense of being challenged, then you're not being challenged. And so you want over that 15 to 30 seconds of time period to actually feel like you're working really hard. If you um, are in an unsafe situation and you actually fall over it, then that's a bad thing and you can hurt yourself. At the very worst, you can fracture something. So you want to ensure, just as I demonstrated earlier, you know, if you're just new at balance training, working between two firm chairs, two sturdy uh, areas, so that you can challenge yourself but not put yourself at risk. So I hope that's helped you understand some of the variations that you can use with balance training.